Hey guys, I'm Media Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. I've been watching California very closely with this surge that's been coming in. It will continue into tomorrow as well, and it's a it's a moderate to strong intensity surge, and no surprise is pushing up the snow levels. Um, abnormally high levels. You really have to be above 7,000 to get the best snow out of this surge. Now, the levels may fall a bit tomorrow on 110, but today they're running high. Um, you can really see it right here in this cam from Palisades Tahoe at 6,200 feet. Sidewalk's just wet, melting. The camera lens has um, just some water on it. Um, again, you, that's 6,200 feet. You really have to be above 7,000 to get the best snow out of this thing. That goes for most of the Sierra. So you've got a surge now through 110 and then another one coming in 14, 15, 16. So those are the two surges remaining with this atmospheric river setup. Um, we talked about the snow levels. So let's go back to this. I want to show you what the uh, the infrared slash visible now shows. So you've got three different areas of low pressure, but they're really just rotating around this big area of low pressure that's hitting the west coast right now. So the second one will come in behind it, and that third one north of Hawaii, that'll probably finish up the series. That'll probably shut down the AR, the atmospheric river, after that one comes through um, on 115, 116 in the Intermountain West. And then behind it, uh, I'm going to show you the jet. It's totally different than what we're seeing right now. I did write about it on my blog this morning, chrystomer.com. Take a look at it. I mentioned Mammoth. They're reporting 14 to 18 inches of new snow. Um, obviously, it's probably higher than that now. Uh, Kirkwood, uh, 55 inches in the last seven days. Mount Rose was getting hammered this morning as well. Um, I talked about the setup. We just looked at that. Here's the jet pattern. So the jet pattern on 118 is totally different than what we had been seeing during the heart of this atmospheric river setup where it was a very nice, neat west-east jet, very consolidated, slamming right into the Sierra and the Intermountain West, taking all that moisture, that Pineapple Express moisture, and just sliding it west-east. Well, this is different. On 117 to 118, it's more of a split jet. So some energy is going north, some's going south. So it's not as consolidated, it's much choppier than what we've been dealing with. So I think 116 is probably the last day we're going to have to deal with this. It's been an incredibly long atmospheric river, like the last 10 to 15 days. It's really something. All right, back to the blog. I want to show you the river forecast. So you've got these deep surges happening now into the 10th and then another one coming in, 113, 14, 15, 16. But behind that, notice the moisture really drops off. The plume really drops off. This is IVT transport um, by latitude and out 15, 16 day, 15 days on this one. And you can see it after 116, it really begins to fade. So that's what I'm seeing at this point. Let me look at forecast timing. So this is the future or forecast radar and satellite. All right, so there's Tuesday at 6 a.m., snow sliding through the interior, and again on Wednesday, 111. Then on the 12th, Pacific Northwest is getting hit in BC and British Columbia. Still waiting on it in California, but here it comes on the 15th. That storm pulls in to California. And then it would make its move 15, 16 into uh, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. So it hits the West Coast, hits California, and then begins to make its move on or after 114. I'll play that one more time. Here's Tuesday at 6 a.m. There's Wednesday at 6 a.m. So a couple different waves moving through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. And then there's the 12th at 6 a.m. Here's Friday, um, Pacific Northwest. Here's Saturday at 6 a.m. And there's the evening of 114. Alright, let's go into forecast totals here. I'll take you into period 1. So this is 1.9 through 111. A lot of snow in California above 7,000 feet. 30, 40, 50, 60 inches of snow. It's a big push through 110, solidly through 110. Um, I like the Wasatch. A couple of feet coming between uh, 1.9 and 111. Um, Brian Head, about a foot. About a foot up in the Tetons. And Colorado um, the western slope will get the most, probably 6 to 12, 6 to 13, across the western slope, less east of Vail. So that's 1.9 through 1.11. Here is the second period, 1.12 through 1.18, and another big shot of snow uh, for California, another 2 to 3 feet roughly in that, uh, that time period. Pacific Northwest gets a lot of snow out of that time period as well, probably 2, 3, maybe even 4 feet. Look at the Wasatch, another couple of feet 
Um, incredible stuff. Another foot up there in the Tetons and the western slope of Colorado, 112 to 118, does really well again. Another maybe foot of snow um, during that time period. Look at the snowball. Arizona snowball gets about a foot as well as Brian Head during that six-day period. So there's still a lot of snow yet to go. You've got your surge happening now through 110, and then another moderate surge coming in 14, 15, 16, and that's probably going to be it. But uh, between now and then, great totals. Great. Thanks, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.